Hallelujah. Glory to God. You are welcome to the Apostolic Grace. Amen. This is our first episode. I want to thank you, my friends, watching from everywhere in the world, where you are, whatever you are watching, watching from. I want to sincerely appreciate you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. We give you glory. We appreciate your faithfulness. Thank you for the privilege of seeing a new day. Thank you for life and for living. Thank you for the breath that we draw. Thank you for your word. Thank you. Thank you for giving us your word. Thank you for giving us your son. We give you praise and glory. As we share your word, sweet Holy Spirit, breathe upon the world. Grant us understanding. And I ask for utterance. Lord, grant me utterance that I might be able to speak your word to your people. And I pray for understanding. For as many as are going to be hearing me watching live at this time, let your word bless us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. All right, you're welcome. Now, I want to drop a word in your heart, then we will pray. I want to draw, uh, uh, drop Psalm 107 in your heart this morning. This is um, going to be the anchor scripture for uh, this broadcast every time. Psalm 107, and I'm going to read from verse 20. Now, you see, there is something beautiful about the Word of God. The Word of God is beautiful. The Bible says the Word of God is quick and powerful. We're going to get into that, but I want to tell you the truth. When God was going to create His earth, the first thing He did was to speak His Word. He spoke, and as He spoke, He saw what he spoke. So anytime God wanted to do something, the first thing he did was to speak. He spoke to a futility, to what is he called now? To darkness, blackness and darkness. He spoke to gloom and then he saw light. He said, let there be light and there was light. So anytime we put God's word in our mouth and we speak it, we have the same result that God had when he first spoke his word in Genesis chapter 1. Glory to God. Now, I'd like you to understand what we are saying here. Words are powerful. Amen. The Bible says God framed the world by the word of his power. So everything depends on the word, the word that we speak, the word that God speak. The Bible says the word that God speak has power. Glory to God. I'd like you to believe God. As we are going to be talking this morning, going to be sharing God's word, I'd like you to believe God. Number one, to give you a word. When God's word is spoken, it is not spoken to everybody that's the truth. It is spoken specifically to people, for to as many as who connect their heart to God's word. Hallelujah. So when God's word is spoken, those who hear it, they take it literally and run with it. They run with the word. Now, it is not as much as you hearing God's word. It's as much as you running with God's word. You know, a lot of people have had God's word. They know God's word. They have studied God's word. They are they are closely knitted with God's word. They do God's word, but they don't run with God's word. And I like to lay emphasis on running with the word of God. Anytime God's word is spoken, you have to run. It's like in a race, either a relay race or a 100 meter dash, okay? It, 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 once the word is, once the, once the, you say, on your mark, set, go, and the, the gun is shot, you see the athletes begin to run. They are running to get to the mark. So once the word of God is spoken, you have to run with it. So God's word that we are going to be speaking this morning, the, the beauty of it, how you can get results from it is to run with it. Glory to God. So when God was going to create his earth, the first thing he did was to speak his word. He, speak, he spoke specifically. He spoke what he wanted to say. He spoke specifically to issues that he needed to change. So my friend, if you desire a change in your life, the first thing you have to do, my friend, is to speak the change that you want to see. 
not because you have confusion around you that you keep speaking the confusion because listen to me if God kept speaking the confusion that he was seeing the confusion will see that they are staring him in the face. The reason for us being where we are, the reason for us not accomplishing our goals and desires is because we, we speak the gloom and the doom that we see. So the first thing God did was to speak. He spoke what he wanted to see. And whatever he spoke, he saw. Amen. Whatever he spoke, he saw. Anytime he spoke, he saw. Glory to God. Now look at it here. In Psalm 107, verse 20, which is going to be our anchor scripture for this broadcast. Very powerful scripture. Let me read it to you. The Bible says, He sent His word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. He sent His word. Now, the word of God is like when you shoot an arrow. Once an arrow is shot, no one can stop it. So the word of God is like an arrow shot. It's like when you load your gun with, with bullets and you, you, you pull the trigger, nothing can stop the bullet from coming out of that gun. The gun, the, the bullet goes to hit the target. So God sent his word. The moment the word of God was sent, the Bible says it healed them. The same thing he did in Genesis chapter 1. He spoke his word to heal his earth. Hallelujah. Now he said, let there be light. There was darkness. There was gloom and doom. Amen. That, that there was darkness. God said, let there be light. The moment the word of God was sent, healing came upon the earth. Hallelujah. Listen, I'm very excited about what I'm saying to you today. And I'd like you to see the reality of God's word. The Bible says, Paul speaking, he said, some did not benefit from the word that was spoken to them. Why? Because they did not use the word. Amen. Listen, a lot of us have sat, have sat in the church. We have had God's word. We have had powerful words. But we don't use the word. It is in the using of the word that you get healed. That you are saved from destruction. Now you get miracles. Amen. May I pause here and tell you, my friend, let me say it to you here, before we go on. Miracles still happen. Miracles is not determined by any pastor or prophet that prays over your life or that speaks over your life. You also are a miracle worker. As far as long as you are a child of God, you can work miracles by the word of God. So as you go this week, and as we are going to speak God's word upon your life, you believe God for a miracle. And you run with the word. You run with it. You, the Bible says he sent his word. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12, says, the word of God is quick and powerful. It is sharper than any two-edged sword. The word of God, it is quick and powerful. When God's word is sent, it is quick. It comes with quickness. Number one, again, it comes with quickening. What does that mean? It comes with quickening. It means that once the word of God is spoken, especially when that word is spoken on, upon somebody who is sick, the Bible says the word goes into the that particular place where the sickness is. The word of God quickens that body. Now, Romans 8, 11 says, If the spirit of him that raised Christ from the dead dwells inside your body, the same spirit shall quicken, quicken your mortal body. So, once God's word is sent, hallelujah, I need, to, I need to see what I'm saying. When God's word is spoken, it quickens. It goes to the damaged cell in the body. It quickens it. That means it brings life into it. He gives life to that particular area that is sick or that is dead or that needs to be replaced, changed or rearranged. It's like when somebody is laid on this on the surgical table, if that's what they call it in the theater, and then 
the surgeon is going to operate on that person. They they open that person person up and they, they you know open the uh, person's stomach up and begin to deal with that particular organ that is that is functional. Now, so when God's word is spoken, my friend, the word has quickening power. It is quick. It is quick and it has quickening power. So it goes to that exact same spot where problem the problem is, where the challenge is, and it brings life out of it. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, as far as God kept speaking, he kept saying what he was speaking. And that's why you don't have to just speak anyhow. You have to be economical with your words. Now, because you don't have money in your pocket does not mean that you are broke. And you don't have to say that I don't have money. Because the moment you say I don't have money, you have negated the flow of heaven's currency to you. The Bible says, Philippians chapter 4 verse 19, But my God shall supply all my need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. It means that God will supply my need by the standard of the economy of heaven. Did you see that? So when you now say, I am broke because I don't have money in my pocket. You have negated the flow of the economy of God to you. You have broken the chain. And that's why many people are broke. I'm not saying that when you keep saying that thing, it will put literal money in, money in your pocket. But when you begin to say that thing, favor begin to speak to you from somewhere. Favor begin to come to you from somewhere. Ideas begin to come to you that will be turned into money. You need to understand the word of God. He sent his word and his word healed them and delivered them from their destructions. Amen. So, if you need healing, even right now, in any area of your life, as I'm speaking now, you can receive that healing. Amen. Now, let me say this while we go on. While I was preparing for this broadcast, I, I was praying and the Lord said to me that as a woman, you have a problem, a problem uh, on your, um, the, your lower abdomen, on the right side. Amen. And the Lord said to tell you that he has healed you right now. He says he sent his word and healed them. That, that lump, that pain, that growth, and that low part of your body, the lower abdomen, is being healed right now. Right now. Now, that's the beauty of God's word. And again, what I want to say to you is that you believe God's word. As long as it's on the pages of the Bible, my friend, you believe it. The way it is, you believe it literally. No matter what anybody says. And let me say to you, doubt will stare you in the face. Fear will stare you in the face. It does not mean that the word that you are speaking is not correct. The Bible did not tell us how long it took God to see his light, but he said it anyway. Even though there was gloom and doom, he said it, let there be light. And there was light. Glory to God. Now, whatever you speak is what you see. Once you send God's word, you see it. If you send negative words to, you see it. The Bible says, speaking in Mark 11 from verse 22, he said, he shall have whatsoever he saith. He said, if you can say, if you shall say, to this mountain, be removed, be cast in the sea. He said, it shall happen. Okay? He shall have whatsoever he says. So, anything you say, you have it. That's just the principle of God's word. Amen. Glory to God. The Bible says, like I said the other time, God framed this word by the words of his power. Jesus said, you shall have whatsoever you say. Whatever you say, you have. If you don't say it, you won't have it. But the moment you say it, you are going to have it. The Bible says there is power in the tongue. That's why you have to use your tongue wisely. Glory to God. You have to be economical with your word. Listen to me. A lot of people speak. You don't have to speak every time. It is not compulsory you give your opinion in any matter. It is not every time that you speak. You will be economical with your word. You speak right word. You speak right word at the right time. And you see the reward of your speaking. Glory to God. Amen. And uh, you know when Paul came, went preaching God's word, you know, he told them, he said, we did not come to you in man's wisdom. 
You see, that's what we have all over the place today in the church, outside of the church. We have all these feel good messages, feel good teachings, and all of that. Those words don't carry power. Motivational speaking don't carry power. Anybody can speak motivational. Anybody can speak to a talent people. Hitler spoke motivational. He spoke people to their death. Amen. But listen, the word of God has power. It carries power. I would like you to see that, my friend. Because we are almost not believing in the power of God. Healing still happen by the word of God. Miracles still happen by the word of God. He framed this word by the word of his power. Amen. And so Paul said, we didn't come to you with feel-good messages. We didn't come to you with uh, motivational messages. He said, we came to you speaking the word of God and the demonstration of the spirit and of power. So one, when, the moment God's word is spoken, it comes with demonstration. It comes with power. It comes with demonstration. It comes with power. It comes with demonstration. It comes with power. So it demonstrates. It brings power. The word of God is quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword. It says it goes to the divide. It, it divides the soul, the spirit, the body. It goes into the marrow, like you are being injected with um, some drug and all of that. Okay. Now, once the word of God is spoken. It goes directly into the marrow. It goes to the essence of nature. It goes to the essence of that creation. And it brings an arrangement. It creates a chain, bringing about healing a miracle. He sent his word. And his word that he sent healed them and delivered them from their destruction. So once God's word is sent, it heals. No matter the sickness, be it financial sickness, psychological sickness, mental sickness, whatever, marital sickness, business, whatever sickness. And we have seen God heal people before. A lot of people. Praise the Lord. Somebody is sick and I said, come, come, let me help you. And I helped the person. And instantly the person became healed. You know, it wasn't because of me. It was because the word of God was spoken. Somebody is insane, I mean, stark insanity. Hands were laid upon the person. God's word was spoken. The person became healed instantly. That's the power in the word of God. You've got to believe God's word, my friend, that the word of God in your mouth is powerful. Amen. Now, you can't speak God's word that you do not know. Amen. You have to study God's word, to know God's word, Amen. And to be able to use the right word at the right time. I remember when we gave our life to Christ a couple of years ago, we wanted to speak God's word. We wanted to pray scriptures. We sit and we practically put my Bible down. You know, they told us that we should stand on God's word. So I wanted to practically stand on God's word. I put the Bible on the ground, opened the, the pages of the Bible to where I wanted to pray from, and I practically stand on the Bible. You need to see the first Bible I ever bought for myself. That, that Bible so far in my hand because why? I wanted to see the reality of God's word. I will stand upon the word of God and begin to confess God's word, begin to pray scriptures. We prayed scriptures until it became like that. The life practically came out of the pages of the Bible and leapt into our heart. And we spoke with our, with our mouth. And then we saw miracles. Amen. I remember in those days when I was still a bachelor, uh, in one of, you know, I had a lot of daughters around me, a lot of friends, female friends, a lot of sons and all of, all of that, uh, boyfriends and all of that. They always come around me. So one of them came to the, my house that day. I was studying. I was on my table studying God's word, making notes. She was coming from office and she came in. And she said, Pastor, I have cold. I said, hey. I said, that's not good. I said, okay, give me a cup of cold water from the fridge. I can't forget that testimony. And she thought I was going to drink the water. So she brought it. I said, drink it. He said, no, 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 sir. I can't drink it. I said, why not? He said, I can't drink it. He said, that's what I shouldn't take. I said, you are going to take it right now. And then she obeyed me, took the water, and not long after that one, she slept. He just slept off. Then, it, I don't know how long she slept. I can't remember how long she slept. She slept and then woke up and said, Pastor, I'm going home. And I tidied up what I was doing. I saw her off. And we have, we have strolled for about 400 meters. He said, Pastor, have you observed that I've not been sneezing since I left your place and I've not been coughing? I said, I knew. I just wanted you to say it. He said, but what happened? I said, you drank cold water which was naturally against the flu. He said, 
What happened? I said, God's word. That's God's word. I said, I just spoke it as it came into my heart. And you received your healing. Now, that does not now mean that I should minister cold water to everybody that had cold or kata. No, no, no. It has to be by instruction. It has to be spoken. Believing the word of God that it will work. Like I said, when you begin to speak God's word, doubt will stare you in the face. I could have doubted the instruction of God. Let her take cold water. And I said, no, no, no. I, let her go and buy drug and, and take and sleep. But as I had it, I said it to her. And she believed the word of God and ran with it. Glory to God. Let's move on very fast because I, I really want us to pray. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He sent his word and he will heal them and deliver them from their destruction. He sent his word. He sent this word. He said, now the word of God is in your mouth. If you study God's word, you have to settle down to study God's word. Because you see, these days, people don't study God's word again. They, they, they believe the word of words from the mouth of their pastor or the mouth of their leader or the mouth of whatever they hear on the street. They pick the word and pick and they are not sure. They just say, they say, my pastor said, my prophet said. I'm not saying pastors don't speak God's word. I'm a pastor. I pastor people. Uh, those who are who pastor directly under me, who I pastor directly, and those who I pastor uh, in proxy or whatever you want to call it. But listen. The word of the pastor or the prophet or whoever cannot be guaranteed like the word of God. So you have to see the word on the pages of the, of the, of the Bible for yourself. That means you settle down, you study God's word, not to read in, you study God's word. And I tell this to people, amen? Some people read 40 chapters a day, no problem. Some read 20, some read 30, some read more than that. Some can finish a whole book, sit down one day, finish the book of Genesis in a day, no problem. But do you know one thing? You don't have to do that if you can't do it. If what you can study per day is one verse, study it, meditate on it, digest it, and run with it, and healing will happen for you. It's that simple. Healing will happen for you. Miracles will happen for you because the power of God is released. Glory to God. And now the word of God is the provoker of healing. Permit my English. The word of God is the provoker of English. It, 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 sorry, it, the word of God is the provoker of healing. Is the provoker of miracles. Is the promo. It's the provoker of power. Now, no matter how loaded the gun is, if you don't pull the trigger, the bullets will not will not come out. But once the trigger is pulled, nobody can stop the bullets. So the moment you Put the word of God in your mouth and you pull the trigger. No devil can stop it. You know, we give the power to the devil that he doesn't have. The devil don't have any power. The devil only has as much power as you permit him. But the moment you, you, you speak God's word, you send it. Even the devil knows he can't stop it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. Now, i like us to pray. Amen. I want you to believe God right now for a miracle. I want you to believe God right now for your healing. I'd like you to place your hand where you have any condition, any part of your body that is dysfunctional, wherever it is, place your hand right now. If you are on the sick bed right now, the power of God can heal you. Amen. I remember a couple of years ago, a young woman came from church, powerful meeting, and she went into to rest, and suddenly she ran out of her room, ran out of her room naked, and she was going to run into the streets. And I grabbed her, sat her down, and spoke the word of God into her head. I mean, as she sat on the floor, she passed on. I'm not saying she fainted. She died. And I placed my hand upon her. I spoke in tongues upon her. I spoke God's word upon her. Death and insanity left her instantly. The same lady is married today. That same healing can happen for you. That same power can be released upon you right now. Only believe. Jesus said, only believe and you shall see the glory of the Lord. Whatever you are trusting God for right now, as I'm speaking, healing is taking place. As I'm speaking, deliverance is taking place. See, deliverance is not until somebody lays hand on you. You see it in the Bible, Psalm 107. He sent his word and his word healed them and delivered them from their destruction. 
you can be delivered right now. You can be delivered from the hold and the power of sin right now. You can be delivered from the hold of the devil right now. Stronghold is being brought down now. The stronghold in your mind, I bring it down right now. Be healed now in the name of Jesus. I command the healing of God upon you. I command the healing. Healing. Listen, that diabetes is being healed now. Amen. And somebody, you have um, a challenge here, right at this point. I'm just seeing that right now, here. This At this point, where I'm touching, I don't know the name. Don't bother about the name. But you have a problem here. I don't know what is there. But the Lord said, you are being healed right now, right at this center. You are healed right now, right now. You are struggling with your breath right now. I speak life. Receive the life of God now in the name of Jesus. You are healed now by the power of God. By the power of God. The virtue of God flows into your system right now. Healing is going through your body right now. The breath of life is going into your body right now. The Bible says God created man and man was lying down there on the floor. The Bible says God breathed into the nostril of man and man became a living soul. I breathe the breath of life upon you. Receive the breath of life right now in your body, in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, as a woman right now, you are pregnant. And the baby, somehow is not moving. I speak to you, baby. Move now. Move now, now, in the name of Jesus. That baby is kicking already. Hallelujah. See, that's the power of God's word. As we speak God's word and we believe it, it works. Amen. That baby is moving right now. That baby is moving. Baby, hear the word of the Lord. Move normally, 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 normally. Receive the life of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. You may have to go in the morning to go do scan. The scan will show you that your baby is now moving, kicking. Amen. Glory to God. Receive your miracle. As you go in this week, the glory of the Lord will be seen upon your life. In the name of Jesus. As you go. Listen, whatever stopped you last week will not be able to stop you this week. I usher you into a new week. The week of power, the week of favor. Favor we answer for you this week. He sent his word. You are healed right now. Healed from the failure of last week or the failures of last week. As you go this, you will succeed. I'm speaking that by the spirit of God. You will succeed. Success will locate you in the name of Jesus Christ. Like somebody right now, listen, you are going through the valley of the shadow of death. Hear me? The light of God shines upon you right now. The glory of God is upon you right now in the name of jesus the glory of god is seen upon you the power of god goes with you god is going with you god the father of our lord jesus christ is going with you today people will see the glory of god upon your life mercy will speak for you this week you will accomplish this week. you will conquer this week you shall not be conquered you will conquer this week listen whatever you lay your hand upon to do today shall succeed Hear me, child of God. Everything you lay your hand upon to do shall succeed. Amen. I saw rust right now. You know what rust is? When metal rust, iron rust. You know, that's what I just saw just now. Rust. I blow the wind of the spirit upon your life. I clear that rust away. In the name of Jesus. And I pour the oil of God upon that rust. Let that rust be wiped away now. Amen. Listen. The spirit of God is cleaning that surface. Removing the rust. And making it shine. I, I'm seeing a shining surface right now. Glory to God. Hallelujah. That's the word. The power in the word of God. As we speak it, we'll see it. That rust is gone. Glory to God. God will put salt in your life. Your life will be sweet again. You will receive the sweetness of the grace of God. The grace of God will be made manifest upon you today as you go. Hallelujah. Go and have yourself a fruitful week. Don't forget, send God's word. Don't forget, run with God's word. Because it has the power to quicken. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I want to thank you those who have watched with us. Amen. Those who have been with us on this podcast, this is our first ever episode. We want to hear feedbacks from you. Amen. You can uh, send your comments on, on the, in the comment section and let's talk. Amen. This is what we do. We share God's word. We pray. 
We speak God's word. That's all that we do. And we have been doing that one for a couple of, a number of years now. And we have been seeing results. So let's talk together. Praise the Lord. And you, if you don't mind, you can call. You can uh, send me chat on WhatsApp. My number is um, uh, 23 plus 234 Let's talk. Let's talk God's word. Let's enjoy the power of the word of God together. As you go, God is going with you. Like I said, His glory will be seen upon your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord make His face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord reveal His countenance upon you and give you peace. You will see the peace of God this week. You will walk in the peace of God this week. You will experience the peace of God this week. In the name of Jesus Christ. My name is Emmanuel Adeyomoye. I just want to be a blessing. I will see you again on this same platform, 5.30 in the morning, Monday morning. Monday, every Monday, 5.30. God bless you. Have yourself a beautiful week. God bless you.